Back in 2017, I played a game purely because I grew up playing and enjoying Metroidvanias. For those of you that don't know what a Metroidvania is, it's a type of subgenre that blends together action adventure games or platformers that are primarily focused on non-linearity and utility gated exploration and progression. Or so says Wikipedia. <laughs> but what it doesn't say is what you're in store for, and that's why I truly recommend this Metroidvania. Hollow Knight is an indie game that has captured many gamers' hearts worldwide. Three developers who had their own goals in creating their dream game worked as a unit and called themselves Team Cherry. At this time, they each took many roles and wore many hats in the creative process. But what they created can only be really experienced by playing the game they actually made. I am here to help you navigate through what you should experience while playing through Hollow Knight. Now as I did with my last video, I'm going to try to not spoil any of the story or overall huge gameplay mechanics because that's part of the experience that I think you should solely enjoy and experience on your own. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get into why I think Hollow Knight is worth your time. One of the main reasons I find Hollow Knight so welcoming to just about anyone is its beautiful atmosphere. Inside the mystical kingdom called Hollow Nest, we take the role of a knight, whose main quest is to unravel the mysteries of the kingdom itself. Your only primary objective in the game is to uncover the secrets of its past. As you progress through the game, you'll uncover hidden areas, unlock new abilities, and battle formidable and memorable enemies. The entire storyline is expertly crafted, and with various plot twists and surprises that'll keep you engaged and invested in where the game's narrative will go next. Every inch of this game is fine combed to making you feel like you're in the game's world. Between the hand-drawn graphics that are breathtaking, and as you explore the intricate details around the world of Hollow Knight, it's all brought to life. From the towering architecture of the game's buildings, to the eerie beauty of the unknown, the game's art direction is truly a masterpiece in its own league. Not only is the architecture something beautiful, but the characters are incredibly well designed, with each character having their own unique appearance and personality. The game's enemies are also impressive. Some have grotesque and terrifying designs that add to the game's overall atmosphere. And you will feel small with the world around you, tucked away beginning every step further with caution and curiosity. Something I love so much about Metroidvanias is becoming a better version of yourself throughout the game. The combat system is extremely challenging, but also really fair, with the player having to learn various skills and techniques to defeat the game's enemies successfully. The game's boss battles are particularly challenging, with each boss having their own unique attack patterns and weaknesses. I personally love learning attack patterns and exposing weaknesses in these moments, but something I had to learn was that this game relies on that only for when you are fighting bosses. Hollow Knight works incredibly well by giving the player a different type of enemy, platforming. Hollow Knight's platforming sections are also very challenging, with the player having to navigate through various objects, enemies, and hazards to progress through the game. Hollow Knight's map is extremely extensive, too. As I said before, there are numerous hidden areas to explore and tons of secrets that await your discovery. I usually have an issue with Metroidvania's not having a great difficulty curve. That's not really something you have to worry about with Hollow Knight. As you progress through the game, the difficulty will gradually increase. Whether it be a stronger enemy type, or maybe the platforming sections will be a little bit more challenging, either way, you will know how to traverse through the story once you open up the map more and more. So we spoke about atmosphere before, as well as the scenery around Hollow Nest, but one thing that I didn't mention is the captivating music in Hollow Knight. The game's music is composed by Christopher Larkin, and it perfectly complements the atmosphere, mood, and ambience. Every single moment feels earned in Hollow Knight, especially when discovering a new location in the world. The game's sound effects are also well designed, with each sound effect adding to the game's immersion. From the sounds of the player's footsteps hitting different surfaces, to the game's combative sounds, Everything regarding the sound design is truly immersive and impressive. And finally, Hollow Knight is a game that has a ton of replay value. The game's world is vast, and secrets won't always be discovered, especially in your first playthrough. And that's okay, because the game has multiple endings to experience. And that adds another reason for its replayability, especially since each ending is dependent on your actions throughout the entire game. I believe Hollow Knight can be enjoyed by anyone. It helps you experience what an adventure is like in someone else's shoes, 
especially if it's in the shoes of one little tiny bug. Now hopefully all of you enjoyed this video, I absolutely loved revisiting this game and finding myself immersed once again in the world of Hollow Knight, and uh, it would mean a lot to me if you liked the video and left me some comments to read. Oh, and please don't forget to subscribe so I can make more content like this. My name is Zen, I hope you have a great rest of your day, or night, and I'll see you in the next one.